What's up everybody and welcome to a little bit of a different video. In today's video, I basically want to take a look at all the available weather mods for Skyrim Special Edition right now and kind of go through them and see which one I think is the best and then beyond that, just the differences between them so you can kind of figure out which one is going to be the best for you. So the four mods I am going to check out are going to be Supreme Storms, True Storms, Climates of Tamriel, and then Vivid Weathers. The way I'm going to format this video is I'm going to look at each of these individually and kind of talk about what I think their strengths and their weaknesses are and basically just how they contrast with one another and then towards the end of this video I'm actually going to look more closely at the differences between climates of Tamriel and vivid weathers because they're not as obvious as some of the other two they're very similar and I think that's where people are having the most difficulty deciding between the two regardless we're going to start it off with supreme storms so let's get right into it so first up, we're going to have Supreme Storms, and this is going to be the most vanilla out of all the options. This is actually the only option available on PS4. Regardless, as you can see, there's a bunch of heavy snow in my game right now, and you can check out this side-by-side -side right here, and you can see it definitely is a substantial difference from the vanilla game. So again, basically, all this is going to change is the snow storms, I guess you want to call it, snow and rainstorms. So basically, when using this mod, the snow and rainstorms are going to just be much more intense it's going to make the visibility much harder and again maybe you don't really like the uh, other weather mods that change the appearance of the game and some of the other stuff and you want to rely on different mods not weather mods to do that this is going to be the mod for you so here again is the rain variant of supreme storms as you can see it basically just is some seriously intense rain again with the side by side again as you can see it kind of just is the rain just more so again not as crazy as some of the other ones but if you're a ps4 user frankly this is all you the uh, options you have but maybe you just kind of want a little bit more of extreme weather but like the weather offered in vanilla skyrim well it's going to be the choice for you as you can see when you're actually running around in first person your visibility is going to be much worse comparatively to some of the other options out there it's going to definitely change the game at least a little bit maybe you don't want any of the crazy overhauls added by some of the other weather mods regardless with that let's move on to the next so next up, we do have True Storms. Basically, this mod's not going to be as focused on completely overhauling or changing any of the like massive amount of weather, like overhauling the weather system. Rather, it's going to focus on a few different weather types, that being basically thunderstorms and fog. So what this is going to add in is first and foremost, you're going to have different variants for all of these. So basically, you're going to have a light fog, a medium fog, a heavy fog. You're going to have a thunderstorm, a heavy thunderstorm, a light thunderstorm, just a light rain etc as well as a few different options it's actually going to change some of the different particles but the real premier aspect of this is the effects and sounds during thunderstorms so as you can see the aim of this mod is really i think or one of the premier aspects of this mod is actually the sound effects it does provide when you're walking through the rain in this or through a rainstorm You're going to have loud things of thunder just like that. I think there's 50 new sound effects added in, as well as the actual particles that the rain adds in are changed. There's a bunch of new fog overhauls, as you can see, as you're actually walking around. And really, again, this mod's going to be not as expansive as the Climates of Tamriel or Vivid Weathers. It's not going to change any of the visuals in the game. Those both do change, like god rays and some different other effects this one's just going to be a rain mod that's going to really overhaul the storms and make rain and snow and fog a lot better there's a bunch of other little uh kind of features like if you go inside different buildings you'll actually have a rain sound effect and some different wind sound effects as you go inside and it's very cool and again of course those thunder sounds and the actual cloud textures are all changed so here by contrast is a light rain so as you can see it's actually lighter than the rain in vanilla skyrim and and honestly that's one of the premier parts about this mod as well is it actually has no performance drop none of these mods have massive performance drops but if you're really playing on a low-end system this is going to be a mod you're going to want to download simply because there is zero fps hit whatsoever so as you can see during these crazy storms the sounds are really overhauled with this mod if you just take a listen and actually look at the particles those are also overhauled So what I think this mod really does is make the vanilla weather sound a little bit more powerful. It does have a few other kind of minor changes, like if you're on some of these border regions, if I actually turn my map on, you could actually get different uh, weather types. So as you can see, I know one, he explicitly says, if you are at white run, you might get some light snow. So some of these may have light snow or heavy rain or maybe a, a, some rain over here, and it actually is going to diversify the weather a little bit more. So basically, I think this is the best option for those of you who don't want to commit fully to a weather mod 
add per se, or just maybe like some of the options added in by this one. So next up we have Climates of Tamriel. So between this and Vivid Weathers are, it's going to get a little bit more confusing. I'm going to have some direct examples in the last part of this video, but I think I'll be a little bit more brief with both of these weathers. But basically what these mods are going to add in is first and foremost, it actually makes the game visually look a bit different. So there's going to be some different changes to some of the god rays and just some of the different visuals are actually changed with these again, where none of the other mods I showed you thus far have done that. T cli uh, climate of Tamriel Tamriel or climates of Tamriel is actually going to be a little bit more moot in its changes so it's not going to be as crazy and it's not going to make things as vibrant it's going to be one of those mods that a lot of people do recommend you actually use with an ENB rather than just using it on your own while vivid weathers a lot of people say you can't really use with a VM or a ENB because it doesn't mess things up a little bit too much so another pretty notable change that comes with this mod is actually the nighttime and uh, kind of galaxy textures so this first and foremost is actually going to give you options to make your night times darker there's a lot of other mods like darker nights and stuff that do that but this one does have a standalone option so when installing this you can do that as well as here's kind of an example of some of those different uh, graphic overhauls you have all those little smoke effects going on and of course then we do have the different galaxy textures which actually do look really cool you have some like nebulas and stuff like that about and uh, all the cloud textures and everything are overhauled and it's just again one of, this mod's kind of hard to show you exactly what it does simply because it does so much like i think both of these and vivid weathers and cli uh, climates of tamriel add in hundreds of different weathers so here's one of the new weathers added in right now basically this is going to be kind of a overcast or foggy weather like it's actually the middle of the day right now oh well i guess not the middle of the day but close enough 4 p.m it is still pretty light out and the whole day is going to look like this and as you can see again you'll be able to tell more as i show you uh vivid weathers but the contrast between these two is they're going to be kind of the visual effect changes vivid weathers may be too vivid for you then you're going to want to use climates of tamriel because although they both add in different weather they mostly are doing the same thing it's going to make your weather experience be a little bit different than the vanilla game they're adding in again hundreds of different weather types each so you're going to notice the changes but between the two mods you're not going to notice huge differences between the weathers you're going to notice huge differences between the visual effects they do offer so now as you can see we do have vivid weather so this is going to be the final on the list and uh, i actually think this may be my favorite this is one we do have a little bit of rain going on but uh, as you can see the lighting and just things in general are going to be much more vivid with this mod installed especially around some of these different fires as you can see these ones are put out due to the rain but uh, regardless a lot of the different lighting uh, we do have a pretty thick fog going on here as well but uh, uh, yeah I think that's the kind of premier part of this mod is some of these lighting changes and it's actually really good to see it so again this is where I think this mod really shines we are here in Wen's Helm and as you can see just look at those different light effects I think it looks so good of course this also is going to add in its own set of brand new weathers and brand new sky textures and brand new cloud textures brand new rain effects thunder effects etc etc but at the end of the day both of those mods are going to have negligible differences it's not like one does it a lot better than the other the way you're going to be making a choice if you want to decide on a mod that's going to change the visuals of your game you're going to have to pick between how the visuals are changed so again as you can see with vivid weathers again i'm not using any other visual mods here only only vivid weathers a lot of these lighting effects are just getting very drastically changed and uh, it, it does make your game look different and in my eyes actually a lot better especially when you get up and focus on different objects but again I'm gonna give you now a little bit of a more direct comparison between the two because I think you're either gonna have to pick in one of the categories whether that be the vanilla way true storms or supreme storms or then if you want something a little bit more modded or a more modded feel, it's going to be between Vivid Weathers and Climates of Tamriel. So here I'll have my first kind of criterion for the differences here, and that's actually going to be the how it changes the vividness. Again, Vivid Weathers is really going to be around those fires, as well as Climates of Tamriel. Do this change things differently? Again, Climates of Tamriel is going to look, in my eyes, a little bit blander, which maybe that's something you're going to be seeking, because maybe, again, you're going to want a different mod to change the god rays or whatever that may be. As I did say before, Vivid Weathers doesn't typically mesh too well with ENBs, but on the flip side, if you're on a console like Xbox One, one, then maybe you only want vivid weathers because you can't actually get an ENB or maybe you just like the look of it in general. 
So here you can see how different it actually makes your game look during some of the fog or light snow effects. Basically, this is going to be the same time of day in the same weather type, just a different take by either mod. So as you can see, as I've been saying throughout this whole video, Climates of Tamriel is going to look much more dull, while Vivid Weathers is going to be a little bit brighter and actually have a lot more vibrant. Some of those individual objects are going to stick out a lot more. So now actually zooming in onto my character, you can see that Vivid Weathers actually almost makes things a little bit too bright, especially for what this is, and that's going to be a little bit of a light snowstorm. Regardless, I think Climates of Tamriel actually, if you want to say there's a winner or a loser in any of these, wins this one. I think it just makes your character look a little bit more defined, especially when doing a zoom in shot like this. So now here we do have kind of a sunset scene. As you can see, Vivid Weathers is going to make things just a lot more visible. Climates of Tamriel is going to make your character look very black and dark during this. This is actually going to be at like 5 p.m., 6 p.m. Skyrim time, so it's going to get, be a sunset. So then to end it off, you just have a normal running. This is what you're going to probably see through the majority of your game. It's just kind of a 4, 5 p.m. Again, decently light out and you're just running somewhere. How the two actually look side by side in just a normal sunny weather. So I guess that pretty much wraps it up for this video. This is actually something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. I actually wanted to do this for Fallout 4 originally, but a lot of people were requesting it for Skyrim, and a lot of people are now starting brand new save games for Skyrim, so I figured it'd be more appropriate to make it for that first. While making this, I tried to avoid influencing your guys' decisions. Hopefully you came to your own conclusion. I think all these different mods do have their own individual strengths and weaknesses, depending on what you actually want your game to look like, and fortunately you actually do have those options on which one you would you want to use. There's also an extended option that I didn't really mention until now, but you can actually use some of these together. There are various compatibility patches, so I know one I actually do plan on using is Vivid Weathers, but then using the True Storm Storms. So again, you could search around for those, but they have been buggy and not officially supported, so use them with a grain of salt. Regardless, again, I guess as I do say, what's the best weather mod? Well, in my eyes, Vivid Weathers beats all these just flat out. I think it looks the best, it makes your game look the best, and I really like the different weathers it does add in. But again, I do encourage you guys to have your own opinion and I actually would really love to know tell me in the comments down below what is your favorite weather mod as always I thank you guys for watching hopefully you found this video informative or helpful but with that I hope to see you all next time later